National Water Agency PUB has installed some 700 meters of railings for drains located at six locations across Singapore. Now, these include Sixth Avenue, Clementi Road and Commonwealth Lane. This follows the recent death of an Indonesian teenager who was swept away in a rain-swollen drain. These new railings at Commonwealth visually demarcate the drains from the footpath. This is especially important in a flood when the water level can rise above the edge of the drain. PUB says that it's inspected drains at more than 70 locations so far and found that some 30 of them may have safety issues. Checks and installation work are ongoing and water level sensors and CCTV cameras may be put in for monitoring purposes. PUB also says that the widening of the Bukit Timah Canal will be completed by the end of next year. The canal capacity will increase by 70 to 100 percent. That will certainly help to alleviate uh, the flooding situation here. Well, meantime, in the wake of the Orchard and Tanglin flash floods this past weekend, the Orchard Road Business Association has come up with some proposals for PUB. Both sides are meeting tomorrow to discuss possible solutions. One idea that the association shared with us is to introduce regular flood prevention drills. It also wants to know if an empty plot of land in the shopping belt could be turned into a green space. It would not specify which piece of land, but it did explain its rationale. Uh, hopefully, we can uh, convince the government to turn that into a green park, uh, just like the Bryan Park in New York. Uh, besides uh, serving as a park, uh, perhaps can build an underground uh, holding tank to hold the excess storm water. And at the same time, we can use the water to, for recycle purposes. All in well